Hey everybody, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. We are continuing where we left off, where we gotta confront Eglinder about his attempt to kill Victoria and trying to hire us to do it. Here I wait for thee in the dark, but the stab, the stab shall bring the light. Minister to death, that is what I want of thee. About the assistance you asked of me. Yes, yes. Have you made the orc feel the black and b biting cold sent her toward the gangling grip of the greedy gray? So my target would be Victoria, a girl orc? Yes, Victoria. She is the one whose heart must be held in hand. The heart around which the fingers of that hand must clench and tighten until its choking flesh bulges with blood and its beat slowly breaks. The orcs of Gazultaka, they knew my name. Oh, yes. By the bite of the roving rattler, they knew my design. And so they sought to save their last, an infant, she who was to be queen, to no avail, oh no. Years, how many, I know not. Years, I, I searched, and now she has been found. Her name is that of a woman, her employment that of a civilized being. But by the fork of Barbara Maneater, she is nothing but an orc. A cest of nature, one of a misbegotten litter dragged into life from the tumid womb of a filthy, coarse-haired beast that was humped like a dog in the darkness of a stinking hollow. Victoria, librarian, <laughs> daughter, <laughs> adopted child of Cecil, mayor of Cecil. There is bloodlust in you. I can feel it. Let it out. Set it free. Undo the last of the Kazaldagar. By the breasts of Sishara Goatsakta, give me my revenge! Okay. Uh, so, we already told Victoria what we do. So, we need to close this door. And, uh, yeah, things are not gonna go well for you, buddy. The hunter. Whatever we do, we just hope nobody opens the goddamn door. Another innocent has fallen. Innocent? He was gonna kill Victor- What? terrible tragedy. We should watch our weapons more closely in the future. Indeed. The people here have been through enough without their protectors turning on them too. You've noticed that Woolgraf has been lingering by the dead body of the person you've just slain, watching his own reflection mirrored in blood. His face is set in a grim snarl, and his eyes are locked in a thousand-yard stare. I know what you're thinking, but don't get let it get to you. Sometimes we must do unpleasant things so that in the end, righteousness may prevail. This death may have been a mistake. I'm not too proud to admit that. Part of being a source hunter is always striving to do better. Woolgraf nods. He seems to understand perfectly well this was not a normal situation, and he seems to take great comfort in your words. Yeah, no, this is not a normal situation. I... I... Especially because he... Mm. Seven grant abundance! 
Striking it rich! because I don't like that the game considered what we did murder. I don't know why they, they're they like trying to be like justifying what happened against us because like, no, we did the right thing there. Because I don't think there were other options that I could do because he didn't have any evidence on him. Now I wasn't going to go through with killing Victoria. So... I had to end the quest somehow, and Victoria, we weren't going to force Victoria to part with her locket. Volume 1, Volume 2, but where does you get a friend? It can't be fudge. You, you killed him. I had so hoped no more blood needed spilling. But I suppose it is not for me to judge your actions. The sun that is your chivalry has dissolved the dew that was Eglandir's hate. May the gods bless your heart and shield your soul from harm. Thank you. See, she gets it. Oh, we get a reward too. Look at that. We did the right thing. Place this book here. A volume of poetry among novels. What do you think you're doing? Oh, that was an accident. We are getting fucked by the game left and right for no reason. We didn't do anything wrong! to talk about to you. Sure. Yeah. I'm overheating here. Breaking like a cake. Someone leave it up and good look out there, Hunter. Evil Seven lurks beyond Say Seal's ramparts. Here we go. Into all the, way to my boot the unknown. And by that I mean the rough stuff. The rough and tumble.
That's how it's done. Off the bat, just kicking ass. Let's go. Good job, old girl. I'm glad I gave him those, because he's been really good at them. Giving him the wands was the best move. Itself. Can't have that. Yeah, take him out, Wolgriff. <laughs> Come on, he's undead. Divine Light should do something. Alright, closer. Oh, nice. We're doing good. We're doing good. Usually, this first fight's a little bit tougher, so we're doing good. An invigorating fight that was. And what a killing blow. Cheers, yes. Oh, he's gonna talk, I think, so. Cheers! Yes, I handled myself like the best of the best. Even if I do say so myself. No need for false modesty where none is needed. You're a born source hunter, and that's a fact. Looking good. Let's go. Fresh, good start. Good start to being out here in the dangers. Mercy me. It walks, but it's not dead. I wasn't entirely certain I'd ever meet anyone any more fitting that description. The name's Wolfram, and it's a delight to make your acquaintance. Good to see, by the by, you don't belong to the Legion. Ten of their number accompanied me on a fact-finding mission to an ancient burial mound. But, as it turns out, they stood a snowflake's chance in hell against the undead. Not that I reckon my chance is any higher, though, especially with that vicious undead mutt prowling the grounds around this here ruin. I'd go so far as to say I'm in dire need of an armed escort back to the city, as a matter of fact. Tell me about a bit more about yourself. I'm an archaeologist and connoisseur of the undead. Because of my expertise, Lieutenant Selenia, a commander of the Legion in Sicile, wanted me to investigate the ancient burial mound just outside of town. 
hoping to uncover the source of the zombie plague. No such luck, though. So you know a lot about the undead, you say? Quite so. I live for the dead, so to speak. The combination of archaeology and a case of incidental necromantic magic is what sparked my interest in field. Of course, I'll be glad to share what knowledge I have obtained over the years. Can you tell me a bit more about zombies? Zombies are the results of vile necromancy in action. Among the resurrected dead, there are those who used to be wizards, and they can cast spells still. They slay their prey and bring them back as deathless thralls that fester with the diseases of decay. Should you encounter these menaces, always try to pick them off from afar. Don't let them get close, or they'll riddle you with the poisons and the blight that afflict them. What do you know about skeletons? These ones in particular, the ones around Sicil, are the resurrected soldiers of Bracchus, the last and most infamous in the line of Sorcerer Kings. He himself is supposed to be buried somewhere around here, but no one knows where the actual grave is. Long have I searched and deep have I dug, but so far I haven't found anything more spectacular than rusted weaponry and shards of pottery. Be that as it may, Bracchus' soldiers stalk these lands anew, and they still fight like veterans. I told those fools of legionnaires to bring maces instead of swords. You know, weapons that crush these skeleton bones, not blades that may ricochet right off. Hell, even a sturdy branch would do the job better. But they didn't listen, and now they're dead. Oh, and don't be surprised if the dead use an unusual amount of magic against you. These soldiers were loyal to a sorcerer king, after all. Dark magic all around. Save first because we're about to have to do an escort. About that armed escort. I'll never make it back to Sicil alone. But you've gotten this far. You can bring me back, can't you? We certainly can. Let's be off. We certainly can. Oh. Let's be off. Indeed. Don't you worry. We'll keep you safe. Marvelous. Mighty fine of you. Lead the way, I say. Wolgraf is all resolved now that a rescue mission is underway. Like a knight protector, he stands by the stranded archaeologist's side. Your wilds are more dangerous than mine. But if you have sworn to protect this man, then I will swear it too. Cool. We all just essentially agree to do the right thing here. level up by the way Nice. And then 
heal. Because I think he's... Oh no, he's fine now. Okay, cool. Him off. There you aren't even gonna get a chance. Look at that. We did it. We made it. Oh, cheers. They're escorting me to safety. You're a godsend, you are. I'll be in the King Crab, clearing the dust from my throat. The drinks are on me, if you'd like to partake. Perfect. We're the bass. I need a moment to reflect. There's an old saying among the elders at Academy South. A source hunter without compassion is as a river without water. With each such display of empathy, I find myself drawn closer and closer to your kind soul. All right. So, mission accomplished, people, and we got level 4 status for everybody except Bear Daughter. Oops. Um, let's pick up the stuff that was dropped, though, from our hack and slash. And... Got water absorption, Avatar of Storms, some gold. And where's the other fight location? That was it? That's all that was here? Okay. Uh, in that case... Uh... Yeah, we already checked these barrels once. Yeah. So we've been on the outer edges because we were trying to find something. We were looking for Eglin deer, thinking he was out here, but he was actually... Ugh, I'm dripping. He was actually inside the gate still. Good to have your back, Sauce Hunter. Someone lives a for some open. eyes, indeed. All right, let's level up. Baking like a cake. This is just the level of giving everybody health. 
Um, as I'm realizing that that's mm, kind of useful. Um, First, let's get our equipment fixed. Please and thank you. That thief is free for now, but I wonder how long it'll be until his growling belly seduces him back onto the crooked path. away before you've tried some of the ocean's finest bounty. How many crab claws would you like? Three? Eleven? There we go. No Thank you. solution to the zombie problem than a set of silver arrows. And then let's go see Captain Aureus report in. Let him know that we got our archaeologist back. stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. <sighs> if you Where's must. that option? What'd you take me for? An ignoramus? That accursed name rings a god's damn Carillion. He was the last source of the king, a frightful warrior that fell dozens before finally being slain by the army that had risen against him. We may well stand on unholy ground right now, for they say his remains were buried in what is now Sizeal. The Mad King for Ma- Okay, uh, I might be doing stuff wrong. Okay, so she's close to this way. I'm vaguely familiar now. Thought we had to report to Aureus, because I thought he was the one that mentioned losing him. Like a cake. Now, there is my pepper. Did it sprout legs and run away? Ah, yeah. Beyond these walls, the dead roam free, Hunter. Be vigilant. No. Maybe she's... Over here? Maybe she's by the gate that we just came through? But I feel like... I feel like she would have said something to us. Like, I feel like that should be an automatic NPC talks to us as soon as we walk through sort of deal. But 
To leave the city is to venture into danger. Be careful, Source Hunter. Did someone leave an oven door open? I do not see her. What's... I guess let's go to the King Crab. Talk to who we can there. Because I think our archaeologist said he went there. So let's go there. Talk to him a bit. Maybe we'll find Selenia in the process. Actually, we are out of time. So we're going to go to the King Crab. Not do a conversation and we'll save and call it for this one. They say he's privy to ancient and arcane secrets, the likes of which I doubt you could even fathom, old friend. I always forget we don't have to walk here, because I did leave a pyramid here so we could just teleport to it. <laughs> There's Wolfram. Okay, perfect. So next time we'll talk to Wolfram, catch up, see what we need to know, and hopefully we'll find Lieutenant Selenia in the process and let her know that we've got Wolfram safe. All right. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you really like our content, check out the Patreon, which is the link down below, where you can watch our content before it's released uh, publicly on YouTube. Also, be sure to check out our Discord, which is also linked down below, where you can come be a part of our community and come hang out with us. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Bye.